Hi, this is the Civellis Family Farms, and it's been a few days. We've been sick around here. Kenzie brings home stuff from from uh, school, and uh, so well, there's been a lot of coughing and stuff going on. I think generally we're feeling better. You can still hear my voice is a little hoarse, and every once in a while I will cough. But in general, I feel better. I went on a walk this morning. It about killed me, but I went on a walk because uh, some of the we're kind of, some places around here are kind of hilly, and so I was trying to get my lungs back, and obviously I haven't done that yet. But I did get something done just today. <laughs> I have to show it to you. Definitely looks like an amateur did it. I did want to say also it is above freezing today, and I'm so grateful. Last week it was so cold all week long, and so yeah, it's in the 40s today, almost balmy. This is what I wanted to show you. I finally got the caulking done around the shower. Yes, it definitely looks like a an amateur did it, but it did do it. <laughs> I mean, I did get it done, so that makes me feel good. I'm glad to get that done. I have to admit, I tried to do it yesterday, and I told Thomas, I've never done any caulking before, so what do I need to know, you know, and I, and he goes, oh, it's easy, it's no problem, it's no big deal, and I said, okay, so I went out and I took the, uh, cut the end of it off, well, I put it in the, the caulking gun, and I took, cut the end of it off, and I worked and worked and worked and worked and worked, I couldn't get anything out, and I thought, well, maybe it's still too cold, maybe, maybe the caulking is frozen or something, and so I told Tom last night, I said, I tried to caulk, but I couldn't get any come out. He goes, oh, you got to take a, a screwdriver or something and poke it down in there. And I'm going, oh. So I did that today, and it worked much better. So even though things came to a screeching halt for several days because of the cold and, and illnesses and stuff, uh, at least things are picking back up again. Tom and I went Saturday and got some uh, uh, trim to do the baseboard around Kenzie's room and around her her door frame so yay we're finally going to get something done there i'm i'm looking forward to getting that done for sure uh so it's been cold but it is warming up and i don't know it might get cold again pretty soon i don't know but we'll live it's the way it goes um i did want to say something oh because my last video i was talking about my skin which continues to be weird i mean um uh, the itching on my neck is not like totally out of hand, but <laughs> my Sunday school th teacher thinks I'm strange, and I guess I can't blame him. Something, my lips have been swollen for a couple of weeks now, and uh, I'm not going to do an up close, but I feel like I got Yoda lips. They're like swollen, and then all those things that goes around, the, they're like old smokers, you know? So I've got, to me, it looks like Yoda lips, and you know, and what cream that you know do you put on your lips for that I man i'm doing carmix like all the heck but i do that all the time anyway but and some of our own lip balms and everything but you know the doctor gave me a cream with no uh scent and stuff in it yeah that's gonna help my lips but that's okay i'll live but yeah <laughs> i guess i've got the yoda lip syndrome i don't know but that's okay and we're we're moving on and but what i was gonna say was sorry i got sidetracked is the uh girl over at first fruits homestead she's been so sweet she's been through so much lately too she's got a couple of really cute puppies and then one of her uh her great pyrenees had some puppies a few weeks ago and then the mama died like a week after the puppies were born and so now she's trying to hand feed all these babies you know i think she said there's five of them left and so but she was so sweet and was and she made me remember all the wonderful uh, people that are in this community that, that hang in with each other. There's some boneheads. You know, I'm feeling sorry for Arms Family Farm. He's got somebody really dogging him about having a calf and, and his goats and stuff. And, and, yeah, if you guys can't handle that, go somewhere else, you know. But... The, other than that, those of, and other than all of those of you who just really feel like that you got to talk us out of being herb, I mean carnivores, you know, most of you just are really nice people. And uh, the first fruits home said lady was really nice and made me feel made me feel better about what I've been going through, and I was grateful for that. And it made me remember the community, the YouTube community, and all the different uh, the channels that that actually do support each other. And are very helpful to each other, so I'm grateful for that, and I and I'm and I'm grateful to to her at First Fruits uh, Homestead too. I think it's Homestead, I don't know, but she's a nice girl. 
but uh, and she's from here in Oklahoma. So there's a few of us from Oklahoma, and I like that. So that's all I got for today. But I did want to show you that yeah, I finally got something done. And I got and I've been trying to move the birds, but it's just been first it was too cold and it was icy. Now it's just muddy. Poor Tom and uh, and the Della Della that lives back behind us. Both of them were stuck this morning and, and we had they had to pull them out from the mud. So. Yeah, it's a muddy mess around here, so I haven't been able to get things ready to move the birds yet. But hopefully I can do that in a few days, because they need a new place to go to. But other than that, that's all I got. But things are picking back up, and I'm grateful.